So, finally rid of all your worries and fears? Well... Excellent. Then move out before our bloodthirsty ghost elephant grows fangs. <laughs> He's kidding, right? It can't be ruled out completely. So, find anything? Nothing. And there were no side turnings either. Huh, same here. Then we have obviously arrived too late. Not so fast. Maybe it used this ladder to get away. An elephant that can climb ladders? Oh, God, you have no imagination whatsoever. So this is where that goes. Very clever. And? Any idea where that... Elephant? Uh, gone. But now we know where its hideout is. We could go back to the past and trap it. I'm not so sure. Do we have enough time for that? Uh, time is your department. Can't we just rewind it a little bit further? Then I can build the trap right before I help you park. I can try. I think I might still have a strengthener on the bed, but it won't give us much. Not much is way more than I expected from you. Time to put on my winner face. We have a plan! I dreamt of the end of the world. And then I went on an elephant hunt. Although, was that even really a dream? It seemed so real. Better safe than sorry. Maybe I should concentrate on building an elephant trap. The bull talk about you. That's exactly what I need for my elephant trap. On the other hand, it wasn't all that useful. Pretty cool set of antlers. Bullseye! And Tony always criticizes my accuracy with the toilet seat. All I need for that is my fingers and the right touch. Maybe that thing with the crank was a bit premature. Away with that! These things have blocked my view of the oxyhydrogen vents long enough. Not exactly the best spot for an outhouse, but when you gotta go, you gotta go.
Phew. No, if that's gonna hold, I'll have to wedge it somewhere. And? You finished the elephant trap yet? <gasps> then it wasn't a dream. Of course not. Don't tell me you've only just woken up. You've had the whole day to do this. Yeah, I overslept, okay? I mean, these things happen. But I had to drive all the way from Porta Rustica again. D don't have a cow. The, the, the trap is as good as finished. And the... True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. The trap is set. That destructive pachyderm is about to get the surprise of his little pink life. What? Are you finished already? Did I have a choice? You've taken far too long. Yeah, but all this fuss was for one purpose and one purpose only, so that you didn't run over those glasses. And now you can all of a sudden park perfectly without my help? That is connected to the complexities of time travel. Difficult to explain, even more difficult to understand. Ah, you had the rear view mirrors set wrong, didn't you? I'll happily drive in again if you like. Nah, forget it, doesn't matter. And? I am not going through that again. It isn't necessary either. And now, while I go pick Tony up, Biff Buff, the trunk is off. It's gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? And how? The trap is set. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practice, I don't want... May Tetanus be with us. Hey, Rufus! Not now, Jack-o'-lantern. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. <sighs> Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, why not? What? No cynical comments? No doubt? No venomous jibes? And not today. I've just about had enough of this place. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pack my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. What do you mean, this time? Well, that's, that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah, much better. Well, this is going to be one fun balloon trip. <laughs> ah, shut your pie hole. Tony, no! Don't let the elephant out! It's a vile monster! <sighs> Rufus, have a real close look at your elephant. Well, notice anything? Well, I noticed the fact that whoever built this trap must have been a genius. I mean about the elephant. Oh. Uh, now I see it. It looks just like a Drexican piñata. Do you think it'll explode in a shower of candy if I hit it? Ouch! It worked! Candy's all over the place! But, wait a minute. I'd know these candies anywhere. Aren't these the same ones your mom always has? That's no elephant. That's your mom. You don't say. Just don't hit me too hard, okay? Wait up.
Right. I'll give you exactly one sentence. It was a case of mistaken identity. I reckoned with a, a fat pink elephant and, uh, well, look for yourself. That was your sentence? Oh, well, that's what I wanted to say. Tony, you forgot to break my nose. How? Broken. Cry. Laugh. Forgive. <laughs> Tony? I can't help myself. I think my little faux pas was perfectly understandable. Not without bubble wrap. No one should ever accuse me of not learning from experience. What's happened? No panic. I have everything under control. Well, it sure doesn't look like it. If anything, your girlfriend looks even angrier than before. I said I have things under control, okay? But the timeline! To hell with your stupid timeline! I'm dealing with some real problems in the real world. Got that, Dumbledolt? This is a nightmare. Forget it, Pops. Nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Oh, uh, that's what your mother said back then, too. It was the words, fresh cookies, that finally clinched it. Knocky, knocky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rufus. <laughs> Hello, Bernard. How bad is it this time? <laughs> oh, uh, I'd say we're on a 9.8. Make it around 10. So you are speaking with me. Then it can't be that bad after all. <sighs> You have to admit, your mother does look a lot like a pink elephant. Uh, Rufus? Uh, perhaps you should just give her a moment? No panic. I'll take care of it. After all, the glasses are still intact. What? Doesn't that count for anything? Then why did I go to so much trouble to avoid breaking them? Fresh cookies? It's not working! Why isn't it working? <laughs> oh, <laughs> having a clue! <laughs> you got any sugar cubes on you? <laughs> oh, come on, Tony. Let's just kiss and make up, okay? What? Not even a... <laughs> come on, go ahead and scream at me. Then we'll have it all behind us. Rufus, you're such an idiot! But a handsome idiot that I just can't resist! <laughs> 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 the handsome idiot. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. There, I said it. Happy now? You just don't get it, do you? You can't constantly burn all your bridges and then expect that everything will continue as before. At some point, it's over. And that point is now. But that's what this is all about. Everything's ready. We can finally leave for Elysium to New Horizons. This isn't a new horizon. It's the same stupid horizon as last time, and the time before. And in the end, it'll just turn out to be a dead end. And that's where you're wrong. I happen to know for sure that I will make it. I've seen it, but not with you. Oh, no. I'm going to meet an Elysian woman, one who understands me. Uh, Rufus? So, surprised, aren't you? This time, I'm the one breaking it off. So there, find yourself another idiot to tolerate you and your nagging. You tolerated me. Uh-oh. Precisely. But my patience is at an end. You tolerated me! Oh, Tony, uh, calm down. Ah! My goodness gracious, Gumbo! This is a catastrophe! R relax Tony has always had this tendency to go for spontaneous self-combustion. Let's just turn back to time again. Or, uh, you know what? We'll just forget it. The Chrono Car! What have we done? We have irreparably changed the course of history! Calm down. Tony wouldn't have come anyway. In my vision, the fight went about the same, except for one or two minor details. What? In addition, you really don't want the story to play out. Believe me. It was a pretty stupid story. Didn't even have a happy ending. But we agreed that this vision could only have been a dream. 
Why? Because it's impossible to recall events from the future? That? Oh. Exactly. I bet all of this has happened before. My plans for getting to Elysium, the fight with Tony, and my having saved the world. You did what? Save the world? Not yet, and the jury's still out on whether I want to do it again. Oh, my dear Aunt Dora, how could I have been so stupid? Precisely. You might want to think about your mistakes. In the meantime, I'm going to Elysium. This time, I'm not letting anyone spoil my happy ending. I hope Bernard is well insured. I hope Bernard is well insured. I hope Bernard... To Elysium! Huh? What now? Oh, damn! The stove is still out. How stupid of me. And away we go. Elysium, here I come. That's plan B, but we can gladly skip a phase if you want. You wait! That's the last time you'll see Tony. I'm going to forbid her to ever meet up with you again. Go ahead. I'm done with her anyway, just like everything else here. Now you just have to let go. Are you crazy? I'll break every bone in my body. Ha! <laughs> with all that fat? Not likely. <sighs> And now, we anchor! Ah! <laughs> bon voyage, you harpy! <laughs> what did you say? I said <laughs> I can't hear you! The balloon is on fire, you dopeless! <laughs> the balloon is on fire. <laughs> oh. Oh! Stop him! Get the torches, men! Uh-oh. They're pretty pissed off. I think it's time to make tracks. I think it's time to make... Yikes! We have common keys. Oh, really? Then why are you constantly terrorizing me? Everything must happen exactly how it happened before. Well, you can forget that. And anyway, what's with this stupid getup? We have selected our appearance to be comprehensible to human understanding. I think you should have got better advice. She told you that this getup was a fourth mix idea. Only because you are constantly breaking character. We can swap. I'm certain you'd be the better elephant Krishnas. Hello. I hate to interrupt, but I have an urgent date with Elysium. No, that must not happen. Everything must stay exactly as it always has been. You mean as it was always was meaning to be meant. As it has always was going to be has been. As it was going to be been. Was going to be as been. <laughs> bon voyage, Wumbo and Dumbo. Rufus, the elephant. I mean, uh, the, 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 the time traveler. It's here again. Uh, was. He had to go again. Well, then it must have left something behind. My readings are conclusive. It's as if the gate had been opened. There he is! Up ahead! Get him! 
The gate sounds good. I hope it has a drawbridge and murder holes on the battlements. What the heck? So, Professor Goatee can't believe his eyes, huh? Now that's what I call a time machine. What a parking job. Just leave your protractor in your pocket until we've shaken off the lynch mob. With a heavy heart. Wow, that looks complicated. Traveling through time is not exactly the same as changing a fuse. Ah, where we're going, we don't need fuses. You know how to turn that stuff on? Heavens no. It would theoretically take months of analysis to do that. Theoretically, maybe. But this, my temporal friend, is practical. Watch and learn. <laughs> And now, full speed ahead! Ah! Oops, guess that was reverse. Please be careful, my motion sickness. Yeah, yeah, relax while you hold on tight! Yeah! That... That's Elysium! I actually made it! According to the display, it is a future Elysium. It doesn't matter which Elysium. I don't know anyone here anyhow. Although, there was this woman in my vision. How far into the future are we? Difficult to say. One year, two at the most. Excellent. Then her skin shouldn't have started to go all slack yet. Is that really your only worry? Of course not. At the moment, I'm kind of worried about getting a good spot by the pool. What? We can't simply... Wrong. You can't. I can. And I will. Have fun turning those knobs, loser. Huh. This door is slightly ajar. Let's see if... I need some kind of lever. What now? No electricity? These conditions are downright deponian. Win a balloon? <gasps> Wicked! I'm sure that's just a nightmare again. Elysium can't have crashed. When the hell did that happen? Hello? I want to talk with the person in charge here. <laughs> That'll be me. If you would be kind enough to get me out of this rubbish dump, then I will be happy to answer any questions you may have. I set the conditions here. Got it? As you wish. Keep still. Now. This may hurt a little. What are you doing? Just wait and see. Are you doing anything yet? <coughs> no. Why? A storeroom, one highlight after another. Come on, Mac. Do you really want to stay here? What? No. 
Quite the opposite. I want to get away from here as quickly as possible. We have to get back to our time before we... D d hush for a second. Do you hear that? No. I can't hear anything. Ah, what luck. I thought I heard some stupid objections designed to destroy the supply moment. What the? Roll up! Roll up! We've got all kinds of funny balloons over here just balloons? waiting to be won! What do I want with childish... Wait a minute. Are they by any chance helium balloons? Of course they are! Just like the ones used to carry heavy debris away? I never heard that before! Not one more word. This congenial thinking apparatus has just formed a plan for a new brilliant maneuver that will be the talk of generations to come. That's assuming they can get their jaws off the floor. I have a few questions. Great! I can hardly wait to answer them to How does the game work again? It's simple. Shoot the target with your paintball gun. If you hit the black, you get 20 multicolored, cool, and jazzy balloons. Phew. Do I really have to remember all that? No, no. Just bring your paintball gun. The rest will become clear while you're doing it. I've changed my mind. I'll take the consolation prize. Without even playing? Then you only get half the balloons. Just half? Forget it. Thanks for nothing. It was an honor. And Bye, Ron. Huh? It's not loaded. What kind of a killjoy shop is this? Hello? Anyone home? Huh, a ghost town is a fairground compared to this place. I always wanted to have one of these for my old room. Too bad that the gas line ran through that exact spot. But, but hey, the new room is pretty cool too. Ah, yuck. This is just goo. Oh, terribly sorry, sir. That's probably because the kitchen's on fire, sir. Yeah, spare me the excuses and put a little more effort into it. Very now oh, what the heck? Before it goes bad. Ah, stop taking all the room. Sorry. Damn, I can't reach it. Hey, Mick, Mick, Mac, Mac, Mick, Mick, Mac, Mac, Mac. Hmm? Do you by any chance have any paintball ammunition with you? Paintball ammunition? What for? To win some helium balloons. What do you need helium balloons for? I want to lift some heavy debris off a trapped Elysian. You do know that according to the laws of physics, that's complete nonsense, right? Hey, if you don't want to help me, just say so. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher in the storage compartment behind you. Could you please? Uh, all right. Um, I think you're... Hmm? That doesn't matter. It'll work. <laughs> a fire extinguisher is a fire extinguisher, right? A fire extinguisher. At least there's a fire symbol on the label. Case closed. Nina, Nina, help is on the way! Oh, so in the end, that wasn't a fire extinguisher, but it even had this extra sign with flames on it. Away with this filth. Oh, 
you, Dewey? No whining. It almost worked. As far as I'm concerned, I'll chalk this idea up as a success. I can't feel my legs anymore. I say success. Yikes, pretty shaky. Sloppy. Just because they build a city in orbit doesn't mean it shouldn't be earthquake proof. <laughs> what exactly are you going to do? I'm gonna free you. What else? By destroying the balcony? Exactly. The balcony will plunge into the depths, together with the cables, and take the pipe with it. But... But pronto, I get the message. <laughs> oh, damn, that is hard. Another try. Second verse, same as the first. Whew. I'll get it. Are you sure that... I said I'll get it. Come on. Move! I'm really not sure if that's such a good idea. Patience. I'll just hang my weight on it. What? No! Stop! Whoa! Well, that didn't quite go according to plan. Hello? What idiot did that? Oh, just you wait. Rufus? <gasps> the orbit pixie of my vision. My name is Goal. Goal. Exactly. Then it really was the future I saw. You and I saved the world together. Yes. Wow. Well done. Does this look like we saved the world to you? I was just about to ask. What happened? You left us in the lurch. That's what happened. I sacrificed myself for you. For Deponia! Yes. At first, that's what I thought too. But I had a lot of time to think about it. Ultimately, you just did it for yourself again, didn't you? Um, could I just interrupt you a second? You two obviously have a lot to talk about, but is this really the right time? You keep out of this, Rubble Stiltskin. Now, nah, shit bag is right. We can talk about this later. First, we need to get out of here. Can you catch? Yes, but you can't throw. So it's better you forget that. Immediately! Wake up! What? Ah! Yeah, exactly. Uh. <laughs> As in, uh, now isn't really the right time for a nap. <laughs> Wait a minute. It was you who made half the tower collapse. Half? The lion's share. Wow. Can you climb up to the time machine? Time machine? That'll be here then. But, but, time machine. Uh, I'll explain later. First, we need to get out of here, and you go first. Very well. I'll try. That's looking fine. You've really kept in shape. I even like your new hairdo. <laughs> A little short, but... On the subject of keeping, how about keeping your big gob shut? Wow, and you've grown a little more prickly, too. Everything okay? Yes, fabulous. My home is destroyed. Most of my friends are either dead or buried in rubble, and to top it all, this stupid hook is stuck! Wait, I'll help you. Three? What are you up to? What do you think? Two? No, stop! Don't! Two and a half. Do you want to kill us? Damn, now I got mixed up. Ah, whatever. One. 
That was embarrassing. Uh, I didn't see a thing. Honest. Now, the piercing is new, right? Uh, oh, th th that was a uh, piercing, was it? Change the subject, okay? Uh, if we have to. What's our next move? I'm still trying to understand the armatures. There must be a function somewhere that will take us back. Back? Nonsense. We have a time machine. We can go anywhere. Here, for example. Don't! You don't know what you're doing! Oh, right. <sighs> That's how it's done. Very smooth. Like an eagle. Oh, uh, that wasn't making any reference. I really didn't see anything. Talking. That is Elysium. Well, it's the lower dock at least, and it looks a lot less smashed than before. So, time machine, eh? I estimate we have landed in about the same time that we set off. One day, more or less. I know exactly what day it is. That's my luggage there. It's the day I went to Deponia with Cletus. Yeah. That's the trip where we meet, and together we save Deponia! With your narcissistic parting shot being a suicidal death jump. Hey, are you gonna hold that against me forever? It happened. Well, actually, that's not happened yet at this point in time. Yeah, yeah, well, will have happened. The thing is, it's yesterday's news. You mean tomorrow's news. Old hat. It's a new hat. You know, you're really starting to get on my nerves, McMuffin. Wait a minute, you mean we could still change that? Could you please stop trying to destroy the space-time continuum? With each passing second that we remain here, we are wreaking untold damage. We have to return to our time. Count me out. I thought that my time was up. Now, I can get it back. Go! 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 Jeepers creepers! She's stolen the time machine! How are we gonna get out of here now? Get out of here? <laughs> what for? We are on Elysium, and there's another goal here, too. I finally made it. But the future! Ah, forget your stupid future. You've seen what a pile of crap it is. And trust me, it doesn't get better. Later, there's nuclear winter, few locks, mustaches. Wait. Didn't she just say that you made a suicidal jump? Uh, oh yeah. I must have survived somehow. I remember being old and worn out. Ooh, terrible. I don't know how you could stand it. Could it possibly be that... No. Or... Yeah, could it be that blah, 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 blah. I've racked my brains for the rest of the world often enough. Now, it's time for my happy ending. <laughs>